G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Sean and today I'm going to be showing you how to back up from Mac OS to Time Machine using your NAS, um, and in my case using a NAS from Synology. So this is going to be a follow-up video from the one that I just done previously, which was how to back up from a Windows PC to a NAS. Now we're going to be doing how to back up from a Apple computer to a NAS. So let's begin. All right, so obviously you can back up your Mac or your PC in a number of ways, like from connecting it to an external hard drive is the sim simplest method. But if you have a NAS, um, which is being accessed by everyone in the home, one thing you can do with your NAS is set it up to also back up not only just a Windows PC, but all of the Apple computers that you might have in your house as well. So this is going to be a guide on how to do that. So as far as the computer that I'm using today, I'm using an Apple MacBook Pro, uh, it's a 2016 version I believe, and we're using Mac OS, I'll just find out what version, Mac OS 10.3.4, and the NAS that I use is from a company called Synology, it's a DS416J. So the first thing we need to do is a bit of um, sort of pre-configuration if you like um, that we need to do on the NAS. So if you open up your web browser and log into your um, your web portal if you like of your NAS, um, it's different depending on what brand or what model you have but for Synology uh, once you log in you have your main menu up here and you want to head to the control panel. So once you've logged in and you're in your control panel you should see a section here on the left hand side called file services. So under file services, we've got SMB, AFP, and NFS, FTP, TFTP, RSync, and Advance. Now on the SMB AFP, we do need to quickly go ahead and turn on enable AFP. So AFP is essentially the Apple file sharing protocol. So we need to enable that if we want the Apple operating system to be able to discover the files on the NAS. So we can just quickly put a tick in the enable AFP service. And then it's saying here in a note, enable the bonjour service discovery at service discovery to help Time Machine find your shared folders. So AFP is just part of the steps. So we need to go to the service discovery. And if we click on that, because it's actually highlighted, it will take us to the advanced tab. And what we've basically done here is we've ticked the button here for enable bonjour service directory, enable bonjour printer broadcast if you have any um, air print printers from Apple, enable bonjour time machine service via SMB, and enable bonjour time machine broadcast via AFP. So we've basically ticked all of those options, and we've also enabled the option for wireless network discovery. So we want to be able to access this NAS uh, over Wi-Fi as well. So go ahead and tick all those options and now we need to go ahead and specify where our time machine folder is on the NAS. So we can click on set time machine folders and we'll actually have an option here to um, tick an existing folder that we've already created. So we can tick here the time machine user and press apply. So now that we've done that, we can go back and hit apply again and go to shared folder and we can see here we've also got a folder called Time Machine User. Now this actually happens, uh, I've already done this step, but when this actually happens is you have to create a new folder, call it Time Machine, go to the next step, and then nominate that drive to be your Time Machine folder. So once we've got our folder here, Time Machine User, the next step is we can minimize our web browser, and we can go into Time Machine on the Mac, so we can go into System Preferences on the dock here, or we can go up to the top left corner and click on the Apple, click on System Preferences, and we can go ahead and we can select the backup disk. So obviously make sure that you're connected to your Wi-Fi as well, and we can go select backup disk, and now we can see here we've got the drive that we've specified and also the folder that we've specified for doing a Time Machine backup. So Time Machine User, we click on that, we click on Use Disk. You are attempting to connect to the server DSJ Backup, click Connect to continue. It'll ask you for your details, you put those details in. You will have a countdown which will be commencing your first backup. So it's really quite straightforward and quite simple on a Mac. 
um, you can go ahead and you can click the time machine icon up the top here in order to start the backup now so we're going to do that it's going to look for the backup disk it's going to prepare the files it needs to back up and then it'll start backing up now because you're doing this over Wi-Fi, it's not going to be as quick as if you were connected in physically with an Ethernet cable. Um, but I guess the benefit of this is again is that you might be sitting on the couch or uh, sitting in a different room to where your NAS and all, the, all your cables are. So doing it over Wi-Fi is, is quite a nice um, convenient option. Now in the time machine window here, we've got an options uh, button we can click on and we can also go ahead and we can exclude folders so you might have uh, video folders or movie folders uh, maybe your audio library that's not too important to you or a specific folder that you can think of that's not too important you can click the plus button here and you can navigate to wherever that folder might be and you can say okay I don't want to include a specific folder here and you can exclude it and then you can hit save and it's going to give you an estimated size of your full backup. You also have the option here of backing up on battery power. So I wouldn't actually recommend backing up on battery power just because um, your backups um, can take sometimes hours and if you're doing that on battery you might notice a significant hit to your battery life. So I'd recommend doing it when you're plugging in and charging it when the computer's asleep and that way you can do your backups overnight. So that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching this video. It's a very short and quick video on how to back up your Mac to a NAS via Time Machine. If you have any questions, comments or queries about this, please let me know. Please go back and see some of the other videos about how to back up your Windows PC or how to use your NAS as a media server. I'll links, uh, leave links down below for those as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.